Yeah, I'm Ranger Kuki, and this over here is the uh, uh, Boy Scout part, whatever. And we got a nice little camp out setup. And look at the ring of fire. They cleaned a big spot completely around. They set themselves up. Too bad they didn't use the Dakota. I like to see that going on. And that's their setup in their same. Oh, look, they got a trench for airflow and everything. Look at that. They're ready for a nice camp out tonight. And I'm going to show you the wrong way how to do stuff. Comes over here. Oh. Thank you. Oh, oh, they, they cheated. Really? <laughs> you should see the little baby. They cheated. Yeah. This wasn't like this or uh, five minutes ago. It's oh shit. Oh shit, they're gonna come record. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Look, he even stacked the wood up nice and pretty, just like they had over there at the Boy Scout thing. Oh no. No, no, we weren't doing nothing. No, no. Request them in there back again this year. Why we don't know. We have our extra gas. Extra gas. Yeah, this guy he wasn't here with last year. That's he wasn't here. He's here. Look at three This isn't last year. Uh -huh. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. He was behind us. <laughs> well, that was that was him. Yes. Mm. <laughs> well, this is Urban Prepper's camp. How you doing here, Mr. Urban Prepper? Good, how you doing, Ranger? And this is his brothers and cousins and nephews and other... Sisters. Sisters. And we got, look, I got the bush chairs. I got a bush chair again at this year's season. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you around camp of Urban Prepper. You got these weird egg crates from somewhere, I don't know. But this is their cooking area. They got their pencil, uh, they got a new cook kit from Walmart. This is part of it here. And they're cooking some scarf kitchen, some stuff and some eggs, whatever that is. And look, Urban Prepper got this from a prize last year and look what he did with it. That's cool. And over here. So we already got cooking here. What you got cooking? At the ur Urban Preppers cooking house. Well, I gave it a stir. I will. <laughs> it's a chicken and sausage. What's stew. that black stuff, man? What is that? So chicken. Uh, no, the, the other black stuff. Well, that's extra flavor. It was like eggs or something. No, actually, you caught there's... fish in eight days. It's charcoal. Okay, you, you finish? Yes. Oh, look at that. It's getting choked out by the smoke. Oh. All right, let's check out their camping system. This year they have a, uh, what do we call that thing? And uh, Urban Prepper has changed a lot. He has a new tarp called the Griller Chiller. Chiller Griller or whatever. <laughs> and he he was inspired by the Ranger Kooky last year to do this. But he came back with this. I told him with the sticks. And he came back with this idea. Look at how cool this idea is. Tell, me, tell everybody what this is. Come on, help me. All right. This is actually from... Uh, and I, I saw something on YouTube, Lazy Man Prepper, um, where he used some old barbecue forks to hold his hammock, to hold his bug net, spread his bug net on his hammock. And 
I tried it this year and it works really good. That is awesome. And you put some tape on yeah, both I put sides? Some tape on both sides so it doesn't puncture my hammock. Um, I couldn't think of anything really to dull the tips. What's... And I took a piece of the um, handle that was on one end and I <sighs> trimmed it down so it slide over so it makes like a lock so they don't go anywhere. So once you open it up, it just stays after you right, lock it. Right, and I can actually adjust it if I need to. He got a lot of tips from a lot of people. I did. And then I had to make an emergency repair, so I used an old bread zip tie for that for my bug net. And I also used the, the same piece, um, same piece of bread tie to make a light hanger. That's a cool idea. I mean, if you need a light real quick, and you got it. Yeah. What else is new with your uh, system? Um, what else is new? Um, underneath here, I've got a inflatable mat, which I didn't have last time. You got cold last time? Or you thought you were going to be cold this year? Well, I thought it was going to be cold this year, but it's just an inflatable mat. Yeah, it, it works. It works. helps keep the hammock open more. Um, there's my sleeping bag. And his uh, bottom tarp changed from yellow yeah, to green. I went with the cheap bottom tarp just to keep my feet clean at night. And then also inside my hammock here because, you know, I'm a big boy. And it's oh, hard. yeah. Show him the other thing about the zipper. Look yeah. what he came up with. Because I'm a big boy inside my hammock. It's hard for me to move around once I get in. So I tied a piece of bank line to the zippers. So, Look at... so when I'm in it, yeah, you watch. I could I could just pull it closed when I'm inside. That is a cool idea. He can go both ways on both sides and close his zipper. Yep. And I just kind of, when I'm done with That's the hardest it, thing that I ever thought, yeah. you know, I never thought about putting a rope on it. And I just kind of tuck it in or just tuck it so I don't get tangled in it at night. And I just close up and I'm good to go for the whole night. Well, are you enjoying the view, my friend? Uh, so far, the view's been great. There's still not many people here. Um, yeah, it hasn't that's... officially started just yet. Yeah, today's Tuesday or Thursday. Today's or... Thursday. It starts officially tomorrow. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that tomorrow. And hopefully showing off some skills and showing off some more of the stuff I've done. All right, let's check a look at uh, this is Zach's uh, hammock tarp system. I think he used the same tarp from last year. Is that yeah. correct? And this is Zach. He had the same floor tarp. Yep. And one of his ties, I, know, I guess he didn't, I don't know how he tied it this year. He didn't tie it. I guess he let it flop. Well, he he likes to go like this with it. Ah! He lets some air in. Okay, well, that's a good idea. All right, this is Urban Prepper 34 and his camp and camp system. I hope uh, you enjoy the view and uh, see you next round. See you later. I'm Phyllis Mulkey. I'm here at Ranger Cookies Camp. I've got my camp set up right there. I'm walking around in Ranger Cookies Camp. He's got it set up real good. The cameras go off in a few seconds. Don't be a panic. Okay. Let's go on. That sounds good, that's fine. What you think about the bush chair thingy things? I like them. It went off. No, it's still on. Oh. Just touch the screen in the back. It'll cut on you see where everything is. Keep talking to it. Don't be scared. <laughs> We're here at Ranger Cookies Camp. What you think about the fire of Pit of Doom? This is the Pit of Doom. <laughs> pit of Doom. He's got a good setup. What are you thinking about the A-frame bed? Oh, you I like it. Don't you just say you hate it? No, I like it. <laughs> We're inside Ranger Cookie's sleep system. I like his bed. Talk about a good sleep. See, every camp needs a certain thing. They need a bathtub and a kitchen sink. We don't have the bathtub, but we got the kitchen sink.
good setup. And don't forget Badland. It's a crazy setup distraction. Badland, stop shorting your butt! <laughs> now we're in Manland's camp. So first, you like we're uh, camping at the Ranger Cookies camp tonight? I do. We're gonna have plenty of lights. And we're gonna have. We're gonna see everything. She's seen the video, haven't you? Yes, I've seen the video. <laughs> well, all right. I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is. Feel a smoky. And uh, see you next time on the flea fly. Well, I'm Ranger Kooky, and this is Manland's Garage. Portable storage shed. Look how organized he is. It's so organized. You can't beat that, man, I tell you. The most organized camp uh, garage I've ever seen. You know what? It's all in one spot. Yeah, <laughs> it's all one spot. All right, what's the do? Upkeep, uh, upkeep on the uh, uh, the uh, camp. We have Mrs. Manland, the Manland, extra gear that's in the weather. Uh, Manland's cooking gear. <laughs> All the stuff I bring, I only bring utensils for my camp. That that you 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 suck, Ranger. Over here. Oh yeah, we already did the update on that. Uh, what we have now is this weird, I think we made a video about this, a weird barrel bow thing. I have a bunch of guinea pigs sit on it, and they enjoy this weird seat that time made, made for me with my design. That's about it. Everything is the same. Alright, but we're gonna go, we gonna go see some new uh, fellers over here. They're camping where I camp. Look at them! Look at him, the guinea pigs! <laughs> so we're going over there and find out who, who, that, who they are and why are they camping at... They're camping at Ranger Cookies old camp! Saw? Oh, yeah! That's a good idea! I'll be back! Where were we at? So these gentlemen uh, finally said, well, they came out here to camp at the rendezvous. And it took the old Ranger Cookies camping area. Hooray! Somebody else camped here besides me. Well, hello there, fellas. How y'all doing? You work yourself? Uh, may I get your names, please? I'm Gene Whitmer. And you, sir? Hi, I'm Dave Willinger. I appreciate that. This is their camp system. They allow me to, you know, uh, ravish for their uh, goodies. And just let's take a look at their camp system. They got two hammocks, only one with a half a tarp or shelter. They have this uh, car thing, car wheel thing, whatever. <laughs> and hey, they look at what they got. They got the big, the small, the smallest, and the, the, the littlest. So how y'all enjoying y'all view, fellers? It's very good. I mean, sitting up here in your old spot, we get to watch everybody come this way. That's what I like about it. Trust me, I, I have reasons why I camp here. This is a pinhouse. So let's take a look at other cool gear. Well, it's cool gear if you only got a couple rare items here, but the, it's basic. They got the basics. Survival technology. Hey, look, they got these weird egg crates. Why y'all got those for? Don't tell. We found them. Don't don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> but this is their campsite, and we're gonna do a little uh, saw test. I don't know if we will record it or not, but the Baco versus the Condor. Are you ready? Let's do a chop shop. You know what that is. See you in a few seconds. Action! Hey, I'm at Red and Raw. I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is David. And we're gonna do a little chop shop. Um, people always ask me about the Condor versus the yeah, you know, thing. <laughs> All right. Basically, one's a heavy-duty knife. The other one's the the, it, the metal is longer, so it has a tend to bend. So we're gonna let our friend David. He's gonna do a test. I was telling him about the weight 
constant and the, the difference is in the survival mode. I mean, packing both of these, it's not going to be no difference. It's only an inch, two inches more than the other one. So he's going to do a little test. Fire your piece, sir. Oh, he's going to get the big gun. Get All right. Piece right here. Basically, if you're in a survival mode and you need wood to process which one you pick. So which one do you pick out of these two? But first we gotta do the test on Well, out of these two, this one's mine. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and cut whatever you wanna cut. I'm just gonna cut this in right here. All right. You get a little closer for me, right? All right, now he's gonna try the condor. But before, what, when you was uh, cutting with this, come down over here. When you was cutting this, was it hard or is it a lot of work? Which, it's a little bit of work because it drags a little because of the coating on the blade, trying to wear that off. And all right, I think so it'll slide easier. Let's try the corn door. Tell me what you think. Well, a little bit faster. Uh, smoother. It actually uh, goes through the wood easier than uh, what the black on that the coating on that does. Yeah, I get one or two things is the coating and plus the teeth. Mm -hmm. Teeth design. They're much bigger versus the smaller one. Right. But it's on you. I always say it's on the person who wants to carry what they want to carry. Is basically. I recommend me for myself is the condor. I Because I, I see my friend who's in the woods. And you know, versus deeper cut, and you can see it. And I got a longer blade, so I'm going to use less energy to get to, and process that wood. So, uh, hey, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is Dave. We're doing a little chop shot with these condors versus the uh, damn it, the name, please. What's the name of this song? <laughs> You, forgot, you, you, you forgot made too. me forget too. All right. Well, it's the Laplander. Well, thank you guys so much for being on my show. And uh, see you next time. All right. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is the update of all camps that are here. We have Dave and Ew Ew. And we got Stan. Let's go take a look at everybody's camp. Look at that big monster. Who blocks that thing? Who blocks that so let's do a walk around. Here's Stan's camping area. This is black, if I'm not mistaken. This is a uh, Mike's camping area. This is Donnie Paolini's camping area. This is all the folks. All right, woohoo! Here's all the folks. We have a uh, barbecue pit, roasting some chicken. Here's Homer, Homer uh, Mayo's camping set. This is a, a, a new, this is a new one. Take a look at their camp.
they're not here, so yeah, they're here, but they're not around here. And what's your name again, sir? Randy. Uh, this is Randy's uh, Campanary. He came to see the view. And you got, hey, hey, look at this. It's something new. I've never seen such a creature. What is it? It's a gasifier. And there's Stan himself. Uh, I don't know who's camp, but that's whoever's. Then we have the... We have the... Troop Mississippi, the 1613 uh, Boy Scouts camp right here. So let's take a look real quick what they've done. There's their camp tent. Uh, they got a little stove table. And a fire pit from hell. Yes, indeed. And the last camper that I was out here besides my little camp. Is the the Mother Brothers? Boy, it smells good over here. Whatever sweet smell. And this is the Water Brothers camp. How you doing? How you doing? How you enjoying the view? So far, it's been excellent. Oh, okay. All right, they got the same setup they had last year. Nothing new, except for Zach having a baby. The same tent they had last year. Only difference uh, over here is the uh, uh, Urban Prepper has a new tarp and a new bottom cloth. That's about, oh, he has a new system. I and mean, we went through that earlier, but this is an update of all the camps near and around us right now. I'll just show y'all. All right, I'll read you kicking in. This is, a, this is the, is this the? It's the third annual Southern Bushcraft Rendezvous in Morton, Mississippi. There you go, Morton. All right, I'm ready to pee and we're having supper. Oh, look at you, look at you. I got a big glare in my face. 